installing Conda and creating virtual Python environments. Hi, I'm Dennis and today I'll show you how to install Conda. Conda is a Python package and environment manager. This means that you can easily create and switch between different Python environments using Conda. So let's have a look. And let's first move to the Conda website, which we can find at conda.io. So in here, we also see a description of Conda. So Conda is packet dependent environment manager for any language. So it was originally created for Python programs, but in fact, Conda can distribute software for any language. So there are two ways to install Conda. The first one is the Anaconda environment. So if you have a look in here. So Anaconda comes not only with Conda. So here we just take a look at the open source distribution. And then here we see uh, an overview of some of all the uh, machine learning tools that also come with Anaconda. So here we have Conda and then there's a bunch of others like deep learning frameworks. And further down, we also see that it also has a nice user interface to start each of these um, Anaconda tools. Alternative to Anaconda, you can use Miniconda and there's a direct link here from uh, Conda's website. So if we go in here, then we find whatever, if you're Linux, Windows or Mac, so I'm on a Mac, so I'll install, I'll download the Mac edition. Run it and install it. So after Con has been installed, we can close this one here and then we can start a terminal. So you already see here is something different than from whenever you start your uh, normal, like a default terminal, namely that now there is something prepended here. And the base here means that now we're in the base environment of Conda. So by writing Conda info, we can get some general information about Conda, what uh, Python version is used, the Conda, um, where your um, Conda environments will be stored. So each environment you'll be making will be a subfolder of this here, so in this case, users opt mini Conda slash something else. So let's try to create a, an environment. So we just say Conda create, and then we have a name. So this could just be test. And maybe we just want to have Python 3.6 for some reason. Maybe that's a requirement to the project that you're working on. And once the environment has been installed, there's even some information about how to activate this and how to deactivate an environment. So you can also, so the general term is that you deact environments now we were in the base environment now we're out of all con environments now we can activate the newly created environment now we're inside the test environment and in here we can get a an overview about what packages are installed by just invoking conda list then we see okay these packages here install if we want to install a new package it could be we can just do that with a conda install, for instance, numpy. And now again, if we run conda list, then hopefully we'll also have numpy. So these other uh, packages in there. So now we see that numpy is also been installed in this environment. So beside conda, you could you can still use pip install numpy for instance even though we just installed this but as so this requirement has already been satisfied but it's 
in general a good idea always to use conda and if the pack if the package doesn't uh, doesn't exist in the default conda environment then you can use try to use pip and see if it's uh, if it uh, if the package exists there so the main difference between conda and pip is the pip installs python uh, packages whereas conda can install packages which may be written in any kind of language so now we can also look at all our environments we have um, we have installed by writing conda in list. And we see that we have base and test here. And we can sweep, uh, switch back and forth between these two here. So instead of creating a new environment and installing a lot of packages, um, uh, an easier way is to use a configuration file. So a configuration file could look something like this here. Uh, this will usually come in a YML format. So here it says what Python version to be installed and some packages. And it also says that there should be another channel here. It's not just the default conda channel, but also this PyTorch channel. So to install a new environment, so we can also see here, this will give a name that's called ML, so just machine learning. So to install this, we can just write um, Conway in create F uh, environment. And now this will just create a new environment and install all the packages that are noted in our configuration file. This will take a while. So once the environment has been installed, then we can activate it by conda activate ml. We can also once again see what kind of environments do we have? So we have base, uh, ML, and test, and the currently active is ML. And once we're in ML, then we can see that we also said that it should install Python 3.7. Uh, and if we go to test, we can see there that we said that we wanted Python 3.6. So now let's say you created the test environment and one of your colleagues needs to run uh, the exact same code on their machine. Then instead of installing all packages manually, you can just export the configuration file from here. And you'll do this by uh, Canva and export. And then you can decide where it should be uh, put my NYML. And that will output a detailed uh, configuration file with all the different packages that they will need to install. And then they can install it in the same way as we just did with the YML file. If you want to remove an environment, so now we had the three environments. Then you can do conda remove, since if we want to remove test, and then everything from test. Okay, so we have to. With that, if we take our environment list, now the test has been removed. Finally, you may have noticed that whenever you open a new tab, then it would always invoke the base environment. 
If you want to use the native environment of your machine instead, you can deactivate this by uh, by doing uh, conda config set auto activate base to false. Once this has been done, whenever you open a new tab, then it will not be active. The last thing I want to share is just a cheat sheet um, from the Condo website, so I'll put a link in the description where I can find all the most commonly used um, commands within Conda. And with that, thank you for watching.